too busy a man to be cluck clucking away like a decapitated feathered fowl. So I'll get straight to the point. I'm delighted to hear it. Time waits for no man, as the proverb goes, and what I say is, in CID, crime waits for no man. So if you don't mind, I shall cut the bovine feces altogether. <laughs> this is CID work, Raymond. And in CID, we dispense with niceties. We avoid irrelevance. We disregard herrings, red or otherwise. And above all, we do not fanny about. Inspector Grimm? What? Was there something you wanted to discuss? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> to be blunt, Raymond, I need a woman and I want your help. <laughs> well, Derek, I'm glad you felt able to come to me about this. <laughs> how strong are these urges and how long have you had them? <laughs> a police woman, you idiot. <laughs> You've been on to a major local villain for months, but he's slippery, like an owl. <laughs> he does, however, have a weakness, and that weakness is totty. Totty? <laughs> Birds, spints, anything in a skirt, barring a Scotsman. <laughs> He's a ladies' man. Are you suggesting an entrapment operation? Not entrapment, Raymond. Entrapment is, as you know, illegal. But blokes drop their guard with girls. They don't think of the consequences. Blimey, we've all done it. You get all stupid with some young lovely and before you know it, you're bald, 40, sitting in the car park at Sainsbury's home bus. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want someone with brains. Brains and beauty. Report, sir. No, thank you. I want Habib. Well, you cannot have her. I strongly disapprove of this type of dubious underhand operation. We're not talking about a honey trap, just a bit of intelligence gathering. CID cannot operate without intelligence. Well, you seem to have managed very well up there. <laughs> Listen! The bloke is laughing at the law. If you're not careful, division will hand it over and we'll have the flying squad back. You really think so? Of course we will, if all we're doing is fannying about. I much care for the flying squad, I must say. Arrogant oafs to a man. You know, the last time they were here, but one of them left chewing gum stuck under my desk. <laughs> I mean, what sort of mentality? <laughs> the state of the lavatories. <laughs> it was almost as if they were aiming for the floor. <laughs> These men are trained marksmen. <laughs> All I can say is, if you're ever cornered by one, head for the gents and hide in your run, because they are incapable of hitting it. <laughs> And if you don't want them round here chewing gum and dampening our facilities, you'd better start cooperating with me. I'll talk to the girl and see how she feels about it. Well, do it discreetly. It's not the sort of operation that wants to be blabbed round the station. Tell no one but Habib. I don't need to be told my duty, Inspector Grimm. Well, I hope not, because it's my backside on the line and I'm right up to my neck in it. 